Welcome to Client Track Support. My name is Avery. Today I will be going over how to set up email in Client Tracks. In order to set up email, I must go to the Setup main menu. In order to access that, I would go to File, Administration, and then click Setup. The Setup main menu is protected and only accessible by a Level 5 user. Adding that Level 5 user password, I'm granted access to the setup menu. With this in front of me, I'm then going to click email. This will bring up the email practice settings window. Once I have this window in front of me, I can click the E for edit on the toolbar, and I can begin adding this information. You may want to verify this information with your email provider or whoever has set up your domain in order to get the most up-to-date information. Always be sure to check and verify that you have allowed third parties to use that email address, as well as less secure apps. ClientTrax, in this instance, is not your primary email address and not the uh, way that you would log in through a web browser. So you need to have those settings turned on to enable an application to use those settings. Once I've filled out this information, I am then going to click OK to save that or hit Enter on my keyboard. With this information completed, I can then test my email address with this test button. Always be sure to test to make sure that you do not have any error codes and that you do not need to change any of these settings. With my practice email successfully sending, I'm halfway done with the setup. I would simply close this practice setting window and now I would go to operators here on the toolbar. The operators list is protected. Only level 6 users are able to access it. Now seeing my operator list, I can then set up each operator that I want to have the ability to send emails for. If I do not want an operator to have email capabilities, I would simply leave these fields blank. In order to access that, I would click on an operator, I would then click email here on the toolbar, and be able to see their user settings. Clicking E for edit, I would then be able to edit this information. If it's your first time setting it up and they're going to have the same information as the practice settings, I would use the Get Defaults button. If, for example, I have that done, I'm still going to want to test and send that email. If I'm changing internet providers or changing email addresses, I may want to clear those fields. I can then use the Clear fields to blank this out, and then use the Get Defaults button to pull the practice settings. Once I have that information added, be sure to test it and make sure that this operator's settings are correct. You would then do this for each and every other operator here that you want to have the ability to email. Simply click on them from the operator list, click email, and then add their information by editing it and get defaults or manually typing it into these fields. Once you have that information added and tested, you are now ready to send emails through client tracks. If you have any questions, be sure to call us at 614. 875-2245 or send email inquiries to support at clienttracks.com. Thanks.